Well, students in Clarkstown in Rockland County returned to class today under tragic circumstances. Two brothers, just 10 and 12 years old, were killed along with their mother on Saturday. They were shot and killed in a gruesome murder-suicide by the boy's father, who was a sergeant for the Bronxville Police Department. Neighbors described them as the perfect family. Iowa News reporter Marcus Solis is outside Felix Fiesta Middle School in West Nyack, where grief counselors are in hand for all of those classmates. Marcus. And Liz, those grief counselors will be around in the days and weeks to come. The school superintendent acknowledging that the impact goes beyond just the school community. These kids were active in the Boy Scouts and in youth sports. The healing process, he says, will take some time. The police tape is gone from what, by all accounts, was a happy home in New City. Instead, a growing memorial sits where the unthinkable happened. Pictures from happier times showing Ornella Morgan and her two sons under the message, Forever in Our Hearts. Nowhere to be found is a photo of the man responsible, Watson Morgan, the Bronxville police sergeant who shot and killed his family before turning the gun on himself. A triple murder-suicide that's left a community shaken. As you would imagine, this is the deepest sense of grief, grieving that a school community could possibly have. This would have been the boy's first day back at school. Liam was a fifth grader at Laurel Plains Elementary. His 12 year old brother Gabriel was in the seventh grade at Felix Festa Middle School. Grief counselors will be at both locations for the next several days, but the district opened its doors Sunday for members of the community and beyond. Online, a Facebook page called the Morgan Family Memorial has been compiling photographs and messages offering condolences. They were involved in Boy Scouts, they were involved in recreational sports. The parents were also very much involved in the students' lives. Uh, so this was something that truly impacted uh, a larger community than what we originally anticipated. Clarkstown police made the grim discovery Saturday after the Bronxville Police Department requested a welfare check. Morgan Watson failed to show up for his shift Friday night. The 49-year-old was two months shy of retirement. 43-year-old Ornella Watson worked as a teacher in the Bronx, where counselors are also in place. And as part of that healing process tonight, a prayer service at the family's parish, St. Francis of Assisi, here in West Nyack. And tomorrow, there will be a community candlelight vigil at Germans Park.